Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I have got a massive, massive moulds and shapes unboxing for you in today's video. Now there is information down below in the description box alongside your 10% code. Now there is 11 brand new moulds from Moulds and Shapes and they are predominantly home decor and wall art silicon moulds. Some are matte, some are shiny and remember I'm not an affiliate so I do not earn commission if you decide to buy. The code is there for you guys. First up we've got twin tea light holders, very very cute. Now the Moulds and Shapes silicon if you guys have been with me a while or if you've used it you'll know it's super squishy so these will be really easy to use. Next up, we've got the giant crystal mold. Now, this is a beauty. I can totally see this with your transparent resin inks because it's so shiny and glossy. A real detailed faceted edge. I'm seeing amethyst. I'm seeing all of the purples in here. I think it would be a stunner. Next up, we have got these. These are beautiful. These are the rock boulder effect. They are matte. So these are perfectly designed for your eco pores. And again, they've got that rocky kind of edge. So these are designed perfectly for your candles. So if you've got a candle holder mold or a tea light holder mold, then you demold that. And then once you demold these, they look like coasters. They'd also work as coasters. You can put your tea light straight on there. Next up, we've got another tea light holder. Now this is different to the others. This is like a ribbed edge. It's got the whole of the surface is ribbed, but it's also matte. So again, perfect for your eco pores. And the inside design is like a curved, I, I, I couldn't work out how to describe it, so I'm doing it with my hands. It's got a curved top on it, so almost like an egg. Um, and yeah, the next mold, I was not ready. <laughs> I was not ready for this next mold. This mold is a whopper of a beast of a mold. It is huge. If you guys have been following me a while, you'll know that I've got some of their oval molds. So they're like trinket tray molds. This is massive. This is the biggest version of. It is a huge mold. Now, ideally, I'd have a measuring tape, but I didn't have a measuring tape. So please excuse my battered, used and abused metal ruler. It is filthy, but it is measuring 12 centimeters approximately widthwise. Lengthwise, now this is a 30 centimeter ruler and honestly, it's massive guys. I can totally see this tray in like an entryway, on a console table in the hallway, like a home decor piece. Maybe you could put your candles on there or your home decor items. It would be beautiful. So 37 centimeters across this mold measures. And like I said, fireplace, windowsill, anywhere like that, it would work a dream. Next up, we have this. This is also like a tray. It's got this ribbed, almost bubble effect. So it's concave. Is that the right word? Concave. So when you demold this, it is going to be like a bubbly surface. Really beautiful. Again, this is matte, perfect for all of your ecos. And this is also measuring quite large. Come on, Claire, with the ruler. Hurry up. <laughs> 25 centimetres across. And I'm guessing it's around 12 or 13 centimetres down. But until we see the ruler, we don't know. Yeah, 12 centimetres down. I recorded this way before last weekend. So I don't actually remember what the measurements came out at. This is then teamed up with this. So this is almost exactly the same again. But it's coasters. So it's almost like an the identical mold, but split down the middle, I'm seeing this as bookends. Like how gorgeous would these be as home decor on your bookshelves as bookends? And obviously they're quite thin, so then you could actually stick them to something. So make a cube or a knot or something like that with another mold and then attach them to them to create bookends. But yeah, identical to the tray mold, but split down the middle. Next up, we have this round, well, circle, tray mold. Again, it's a 22 to 23 centimeters across, really identical to the oval molds, but circle. But this one, guys, how stunning is this mold? This is the tree of life mold. It, again, it's a tray. So it's got a really nice, chunky, deep edge on it. And it's got a lip. So hopefully nothing you put on there would fall out. But again, this is perfect wall art would look gorgeous on the wall. 
It's also got this textured surface that I've never seen before with Molds and Shapes Molds. Molds and Shapes Molds are usually shiny and they've just started doing the eco um, molds, which are already matte, so perfect for your ecos. But this has got a textured surface I've never seen before and it is gorgeous. Measuring just over 19 centimeters, a beauty. Next up, molds, honestly, when I opened the box, I was like, what? is this these are wall art architectural wall art molds they are multi-layered multi-textured surfaces they are gorgeous unlike anything i've seen before you can imagine making these in like sets of three to have that that try what do you call it <laughs> sets of three to have three next to each other on the wall either vertically or horizontally measuring 20 centimeters exactly across they are beautiful and totally different now they also have these in a variety of designs as well they sent me two of them honestly getting this box was a very unexpected and b felt like christmas i kept opening it i was like are you serious are you serious look at these molds um but yeah again these have got that really interesting textured surface that i have never seen before in any mold let alone from molds and shapes really different, really quirky, like I said, very architectural, wall arty, and this is going to be the first video, I am so excited, there is a video coming very, very soon, so keep your eyes peeled, um, and it's all about wall art, and oh my gosh, I'm excited for these, so this is what we've got in this absolutely huge, brand new mould launch from Moulds and Shapes, all of these that you see on screen will be available. And if you're interested in any of them or anything that Molds and Shapes do, then please check out my description box for your 10% code. Remember, I am an ambassador. I'm not an affiliate, so I do not get paid. They do send me the molds to show you guys, but I do not earn commission on sales. I'm just here because I love them. I love them so, so much. I hope you've enjoyed this. Everything you need to know will be down below in the description box. And a huge thank you to Molds and Shapes. And also, if you are still here, a huge thank you for waiting for me because I have been poorly and I finally feel well enough to do this voiceover for a video I recorded well over a week and a half ago. But yay, I'm back. I'm so excited. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.